let's talk about energy. So energy is the ability to do work. When work is done, it is said that has kinetic energy or energy in motion. It comes from a Latin word kineticos which means moving or in motion. On the other hand, when we say potential energy, it is energy at rest. So ang ibig sabihin nito ay potential energy ay may kakayahan siyang magkaroon ng enerhiya or energy and mag-turn siya into kinetic energy. So lahat po tayo ay mayroong potential energy when we have or when we gained energy and when someone uh, pushed or pull us we can have kinetic energy. So the problem is, how will you compute the potential energy and kinetic energy? But first, let me read to you some information about potential energy. It is said that it is affected by the mass of the objects and gravitational force. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second squared potential energy is performed when work is waiting to be done and the potential energy is affected by the mass of the objects and the gravitational force so meron tayo yung constant value due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second squared or can or if we will round off the value we will have 10 meter per second squared. Natin, the greater the mass, the greater the potential energy. So, ang ibig sabihin, kung merong mas malakas or mas mabigat na mass ang isang object, may kakayahan siyang magkaroon ng mas malakas na potential energy. So, pwede siyang magstay doon sa isang, sa isang lugar. I will teach you how to compute kinetic energy and potential energy. So first, let us have the kinetic energy. So the factors involved in calculating the kinetic energy is the mass and velocity. So what is our formula? Now let us have the formula in calculating kinetic energy. Again, when we say kinetic energy, it is the energy in motion. Okay, so I have here again my my whiteboard so please do allow me to write first the formula give you the equation for kinetic energy so let us write ke ke stands for kinetic energy okay and is equal to the to one half of mass multiplied by velocity squared so this is our um, formula. So let us try to compute sample problem. Uh, what is the kinetic energy of a 45 kilogram object moving at 13 meter per second square? So if we will follow the, the Gresa method, you can do that para mas maging uh, maayos ang ating, ang ating computation. Okay, what are the given? Okay, so let us right GRESA or the acronym G-R-E-S-A Okay This one Nakikita natin yan <clears throat> Okay, what are the given? So we have the mass Ang value ng mass natin dito ay 45 kilogram 45 kilogram And how about the velocity? Velocity is 13 meter per second squared okay 13 meter per second squared okay 13 meter per second per second muna so if we will apply this the the unknown or the required i mean the required is ke ke how about the equation so let us copy this equation ke is equal to one half of mass multiplied by velocity squared so, what is our solution? So, let us copy first the, we have um, the mass, 45, 45 kilogram. 
And how about the velocity? We have 13 meter per second squared. So, ano po yung unang gagawin po natin dito sa ating computation? Ang unang gagawin natin dito, dahil meron tayong square dito, we will multiply 13 by itself. So, what is the answer? And then, after we multiply 13, ito po ay dahil meron ditong square, multiply po natin yung 13 by itself. You can use your, your manual uh, computation or if you have calculator, pwede din naman siguro. Okay. We have 13 times 13. We have 169. We have 169. Well, sulat natin. 169. 169 multiply by 45. 45. And then, uh, don't forget to write meter per second squared. And then, we will multiply 45 kilogram to 169 meter per second squared divided by 2. Okay? So, what is the final answer? We have 7,605 divided by 2. And we will have the final answer is um... 3,882.5 So what is the, the, the unit? It is J stands for Joule. Okay? Si James Prescott Joule po ang pinagmula ng unit po natin when we talk about energy. Kinetic energy and... Pot Ngayon naman pag-usapan natin paano natin naman ko-computein or isosolve ang... Um, Related problems sa potential energy. So, kailangan natin uli yung Gresa method para madali nating makuha. Unahin natin. Ayan. So, potential energy is equal to MGH. Pag sinabi natin M, it stands for mass. Okay, what is the unit of mass? Kilogram or gram. When we say G, that is acceleration due to gravity which... So, all you have to do is to multiply the given. So, remember, sa letter G na ito ay constant yung value, 9.8 meter per second squared. So, that is the acceleration due to gravity. So, the problem is, I will read the problem. When a 1.0 kilogram book is lifted, 0 0.5 or 0.5 meter from the table, the force exerted in lifting the book is equal to its weight. So, tignan natin. Kunin natin yung problem na yun. So, let's see. Let's have the equation. Okay? So, we have, again, gagamitin natin yung Gresa method para madali tayo makapag-compute. So, ang laking tulong talaga ng Gresa. So, sa letter G given, so unahin natin yung given natin, ay uh, mass 1.00 kilogram and uh, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. Yun sa problem natin hindi na banggit yung hindi na banggit yung value ng acceleration due to gravity. Pero kapag pinag-uusapan natin yung kinetic energy, ito po ang ating gagamitin. Baka magtaka tayo bakit wala yung ano? Bakit hindi namin makita yung, yung 9.8 meter per second square? So, iyon po ay ay given na. So, constant na po yung value niya pag pinag-uusapan natin yung potential energy. Sunod naman is the height is 0 point meter. So, ang required po natin ay potential energy. And then, yung equation natin, potential energy is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity and height. So, let's have the solution 1.0 kilogram multiplied by 9.8 meter per second squared times 0 0.5 meter and then we will come up with this answer 4.9 joule so pinag-uusapan talaga natin dito ay kung paano natin kukunin ang potential energy and kinetic energy so i hope itong formula natin na ito ay maging guide po natin on how we compute uh, problems related sa kinetic energy and potential energy and what I'm